All right, now we, we are going to turn our attention to uh, developmental issues, and um, there are some key points uh, before we uh, get into more detail about in terms of prenatal development um, and um, the newborn, uh, the newborn itself. But uh, the developmental psychologists basically study the life cycle uh, from conception to death, and they examine how we develop physically, cognitively, socially. And there are three major issues that pervade this study, which we're going to look at here in brief at least. Uh, the impact of nature and nurture, uh, in other words, the impact of genes, um, of uh, genes and experience. And we've been talking about this uh, for a little while now, and the nurture aspect we looked a little bit last time, if you're following along here, um, at uh, the various influences that are part of the picture. Uh, and so one major issue, which it is in psychology as gen in general, is nature and nurture. The second one is uh, when we're talking about development itself, um, the, the question is uh, pictured in, in the uh, diagram or the illustration above, is, is it stages uh, that people march through one right after another, otherwise known as sequential stages, or is it a continuous, uh, uh, continuous uh, <laughs> that's the problem with writing and, re and, and talking at the same time. Is it a continuous, smooth uh, movement that is gradual, um, and in some respects, movement from one to the other is relatively um, uh, imperceptible. And, and that's, that's part of the, the, the debate that goes on here. The last one, uh, and again, these are all going to be expanded here a little bit, is in terms of personality. Is the person's personality, individual's personality, does it uh, does it, uh, is it stable over time or are there changes over the lifespan? Um, and, you know, take for example, and you guys, a lot of you guys are not that far away from high school uh, versus changing and changing over a lifespan. And like I said, you, a lot of you are still very close to your um, uh, high school days. I go back, and, and the irony is is that even with uh, Facebook, you can now kind of peek in and stalk uh, people from your high school days. And personality-wise, there are minor changes. But for the most part, a lot of times, people that are outgoing, gregarious, involved with other people are equally now that at, at you know, uh, my age. I'm not going to tip my hand here, but at my age. So, um, but there is change. There are modulating changes. In other words, uh, on the edges, on the extreme, sometimes people age well and they get more mellow and more laid back because experience has taught them that. Or sometimes on the other end, people get more brittle, more unable to adapt. And each one, um, each one is a key example of, of all of these things that are part of these three major issues. The, uh, the, the key are in terms of um, taking these three issues apart is really oftentimes in terms of uh, the two different content areas. And, and depending on the emphasis in these content areas will really depend on, uh, will determine in a sense kind of where people land, psychologists and researchers. So for example, if we talk about experience and learning, a lot of times these researchers that are emphasizing these two components uh, tend to, to emphasize 
a uh, slow, continuous change. On the other hand, uh, those that emphasize biology, uh, that uh, look at uh, biological maturation and are pretty much kind of anchored into that area, what you will find is they tend to, as you can probably already predict as I'm writing this, is that they tend to predict uh, uh, genetically uh, predisposed uh, stages. Um, whoops. Predisposed stages. So, for example, when you look at the diagram up here, um, you can tell essentially how uh, how each researcher is looking at it, um, and and we can talk about a developmental stage or the continuous development over the lifespan. So uh, each one of these guys up here are all, uh, in a sense, stages. Pre in in Kohlberg's idea, is pre-conventional morality, morality, and that was his emphasis was looking at moral reasoning, which we'll look at a little bit later. Um, Erickson was, was probably the first, and he was a Freudian by training, but he was the first that actually looked at, at lifespan development and the entire span. Now remember, uh, Freud was the first kind of developmental psychologist in a lot of ways, so lifespan development and again, he emphasized uh, stages as well, autonomy, basic trust, initiative, competence, etc. Piaget is a, a, uh, looked more specifically at cognitive development. And again, he tended to emphasize uh, these various stages of development. We use them a lot of times even in um, testing today we use them as kind of guideposts to know where a kid is in terms of their development. The key point here is that with further research, we found out that some of the um, skill sets, for example, skill abilities up in this range, concrete operational, can also occur down here where you least expect it. And that's one of the things just to keep in mind is that really the bottom line when you're looking at, at these, just like we talked about in the nature-nurture debate, is that really it's both. You can have slow, continuous change within a stage. And uh, change within... The, the C, by the way, if you're trying to decipher my writing here, I know this is slow, continuous, it's going to run on, but slow, continuous change, a C with a line over it in medical terminology and shorthand is a way to put with. You'll see a C with a line over it in some of the moral, not the moral, the medical records you might read or psych records you might read. When I uh, was taking notes and I had so many notes to take, I just made within, use that and put in with, with and then the in part, which is what you'll see when I write when I'm not thinking quite as, as much on what I'm writing about. So you have slow continuous change within a stage. And that's, that's key to understand. So we're not, it's not an either or, um, it, it really is a uh, <clears throat> actually we're, we're talking about a both and in other words when we're looking at these things it is both a slow continuous change and uh, within and a uh, within a uh, stage so it's slow continuous and stage and that's what I'm talking about here with both 
and